the only trial of um, early uh, placebo control of, of early therapy um, um, that kind of has recently been uh, published that's, that looked at kind of meaningful clinical outcomes was Martin Klockel's DETECT trial, um, which looked at infants who were randomized, but just randomized on the basis of diameter, which uh, is probably a little bit too simplistic in trying to appreciate the volume of the shunt. Nevertheless, um, the administration of early targeted in medicine reduced pulmonary hemorrhage, reduced late therapy. It did not change the primary outcome, uh, but was underpowered for the primary outcome, as in Australia, they ran out of indomethacin. But one of the interesting things for me was this significant, although not statistically significant, there was a threefold reduction in severe interventricular hemorrhage. And when I moved to the University of Iowa in 2018 to this incredible program with so many tiny babies surviving, this suddenly became a concept we were interested in. Uh, because although those babies survived, up to 25% had significant intraventricular hemorrhage. So I just want to take you for a couple of minutes on a slight tangent, which is what is the relationship of shunt to intraventricular hemorrhage? And what is the cardiovascular argument uh, for uh, modulating flow? We know that low cardiac output in the first few hours of life is associated with bad hemorrhage. This is some data from Shahab Nouri's um, non-invasive cardiac output monitoring study. Babies who have stable cardiac output for the transitional period did not get IVH. Babies who started off with low cardiac output that increased rapidly in the first 48 hours of life were more likely to get severe IVH. So how might IVH be modulated, at least in part, by the presence of a large PDA shunt? Well, as mentioned, after birth, you remove the placenta, which is a low resistance capacitance organ. The left heart is now having to pump blood against a high resistance, so you will have a low flow state. However, if the ductus remains open, as pulmonary vascular resistance falls, you're going to have an increase in the left to right shunt, you're going to have an increase in pulmonary venous return, so your cardiac output is going to rise that cardiac output will be preferentially delivered to the brain. So the question is, is a open shunt with, as PVR falls, is that modulating an ischemia reperfusion event? And what's particularly interesting about this argument is if you think of the early trials of surfactant, nitric oxide, high-frequency ventilation, all of which change PVR fairly radically 